We will find out uh, right here from the market guests. We ask uh, their big panel here to see if this market wave will continue. We got the market pros right there. You see it. New York Stock Exchange trader Peter <laughs> Tuckman and market watcher Kenny Polcari. Kenny, let's start with you. But wow, look at those glasses. Uh, you know, always the optimist here. So there's, is there one thing that led the market or was it a confluence of things, uh, a storm of events that led the market? I think at this last six weeks or so, it was a confluence of events that led to the market. Certainly, it's everyone feeling better, the soft landing, all that stuff. But then it was how the narrative changed from higher for longer, and we're going to keep rates there, to suddenly, you know, we're talking about a couple of rate cuts, to suddenly it's going to be six or seven rate cuts, which makes no right. sense to me. It's completely illogical. And, you know, investors need to be careful what they wish for. If the Fed starts cutting rates by six or seven times next year, that means we're going off the yeah. edge. It's not because it's all coming up roses. So right. you got to be careful what you wish for. And you that's my concern. Careful. Yeah. So, Peter, I want to go to you now. So, you know, the ins and outs of trading. So let's say I had $100 right now. What sector or company would be flashing in your mind? You know what? To be perfectly <laughs> honest, I like the I like the I like the overall overall exposure of the S&P 500. I think at this point, look, part of the bigger part of this rally this year was obviously the fabulous seven. And in the last six weeks, we basically went in the Russell 2000. We went from a 52 week low to a 52 week high literally in 46 days. That meant that the breadth of the rally started to pick up. And that's that's significant in a lot of different ways. I think at this point, it's so hard to pick a sector. There's so many yeah. moving parts. Let's think about 2023. We had two wars. We had 18 consecutive rate uh, hikes. We had uh, uh, you know, every possible yeah. challenge that a market could have, we had. And yet we're going to close out this year less than a percent away from all record time high. So, look, I put 100 bucks into the S&P 500. Disclaimer, yeah. I'm not an advisor. Yeah, you're right. Exactly. Not an advisor, but man, you look good still. So, Kenny, you know, we've seen in the past what's good for Wall Street doesn't always mean it's good for Main Street. Their expectations the consumer will pull back this next year for 2024. Are we headed for that disconnect again? So I think we are potentially headed for this because my fear is that the economy is slowing down faster, which is why we're hearing that narrative. And that's going to affect the consumer. That's going to hit you and me right in the pocketbook. Right. And so I think we're going to see that's what we're going to see in, in uh, the first half, at least of 2024, until we get through first quarter earnings and we start to really see what the Fed is thinking. So, Peter, we got 30 seconds left. I want to ask you about AI. Uh, you know, AI was the buzzword in 2023. If a CEO mentioned it, the stock went up. What do you think is going to happen with artificial intelligence moving forward in 2024 from a financial perspective? I think we, we know... We don't, we don't know as much as we think we know about this story. We're going to have to watch it unfold. Obviously, it's what took NVIDIA from $108 yeah. last uh, February to $400, $500. That's significant. It was the biggest contributing factor to the Fabulous 7. I think there are a lot of moving parts in that whole sector, in tech per se. And I think we need to let the market, you know, there's, there's so much chatter about, about AI. And I think the important thing is, think about how quickly that it went to Congress and people started to evaluate and the potential dangers of it. I think we don't know a lot about the story. That's that that we'll watch that unfold. But th I mean, look, the market seems really strong right now. I don't see. Look, the economy and the markets don't always trade in concert with each other, right? So yes, there must be people struggling. Yes, there are things that are a lot more expensive than they were a year ago. K but net yep. net, at the end of the day, the market's strong. Kenny and Peter, I appreciate your insight on all of this. Uh, those glasses win the day. Uh, Happy New Year to both of you guys. <laughs> so, I, mean, I miss you, Eddie. Kenny. We, yeah. we miss you on the floor, Kenny. I miss you. So, Peter, I miss you, okay. too. Yeah. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.